Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to explain how to calculate the surface area of a prism. Now, first of all, we have to understand what a prism is. A prism is a shape, a solid shape, which has the same cross-sectional shape throughout. As you can see here, this is a rectangular prism, and throughout the rectangle, you can see we've got the same shape all the way through. It is rectangular all the way through. So if I cut it at any point, I will get the same shape. And it doesn't matter whether it's this shape, which is a, a cylinder, which is a cylindrical prism, or this shape, which is slightly distorted, but still it is a prism because it's the same shape when you cut it all the way through. And the same here. So if I want to calculate the surface area of this object, I have to break it down into stages, and I have to, first of all, uh, look at the different surfaces, and how many are there? Well, on this, there is a top, a bottom, and four sides. So, in this case, there are six surfaces. So, when I calculate, I will calculate each surface separately. These are all simple figures because this is a rectangular prism. So this is H times L for this side. This is B times L for the top. And this is B times H for this side. Each twice, easy to calculate. A little bit more difficult is this. How many surfaces has this got? Well, actually, it's got three. A top, a bottom, and one circular surface or curved surface. The top, of course, we can use the formula pi r squared for the area, but this, um, this, this curved surface is a little bit more difficult, but we know that this distance is 2 times pi times r, where r is the radius, and therefore 2 pi r multiplied by the height will give me the surface area. And obviously plus 2 pi r squared will give me the areas of top and bottom. Here I have the area of two triangles, one at the top and one at the bottom, and three sides, one I can't see, and the two at the front. This shape is a little bit more difficult, but still not difficult. This is rectangular and can be uh, measured or calculated from this triangle. We can calculate this length and the width is simple. Here, the area of this figure, of course, is the length of the base times the perpendicular height. So that is also easy to calculate. And there are two of these surfaces, two of those surfaces, top and bottom. So this is how we would calcula calculate the area of several different types of prism.